back downtown, Mike and Fiona. Wow, <clears throat> too bad this isn't smell -a vision because that was some food that I would like to have been able to smell. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me tell you, that, that brisket back there for the ultimate mm -hmm. taco. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> go big or go home. The ultimate Texas oh, taco. All right. Like Gift giving. Uh, you know, you've got birthdays, weddings, graduations, things like that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you get things maybe that are doubles and so forth mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. that you may not actually want. And the question is... What have you re-gifted? Or if you've gotten that gift, what have you done with it if you didn't need it? Hmm. I, I don't remember what I, I know. I've re-gifted some stuff, but I don't remember sure. what it was. I feel like it's so easy, though, to return things now, especially, especially right. with online shopping. But yes, in the past, I have re-gifted something. I usually, it's usually something where I'm like, oh, my sister would love this. And yeah. then I, oh, and I tell her that. <laughs> but see, that's the best part about re-gifting. You don't have to take it back. You just send it off to somebody else. Sure, just... <laughs> see, but here's, here's, here, here's the question. Depending on who you get it for... Mm -hmm. If you get something that is supposed to be maybe displayed around your right. house, that's right. where you get and in trouble. Maybe they're going to come Ooh. over at some point. Yeah. Do you get Ooh. rid of it or do you keep Ooh. it somewhere, stored yeah. away, Closet. and yeah. set it out when there. for when they come over? For sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe it's the Velvet Elvis that it's really not your your style and your your taste yeah. for your decor. So. <laughs> Nothing wrong with velvet. So I wasn't supposed to use that for a horse trough. Is that oh. what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like that, Dave. Yeah. Uh, no. All right, we will take it from here. So, have you ever regifted anything? What I just said earlier—that's my dilemma. So okay. I got a kind of beat-up box that looks like it was regifted maybe two or three times already, and it's kind of these three crystal-looking hmm. faces, tub things. Yeah. Okay, um, so I have them, and I kept them because the person who gave it to me, uh, most likely I will see in the future and will come over. So I just have them stashed away to bring out when they're there. And they're not watching right now, which is why I told that. <laughs> That's, good. That's good. I did one time uh, when we got married because we had gotten, you know, many, many lovely gifts. And there were two vases that were identical. Mm -hmm. And we had another mm -hmm. wedding coming up. So uh -huh. we would have returned the one vase anyway. And then I probably would have purchased something like that. So it's just like, okay, I'll just rewrap that. So I don't know if it was that technically a re-gift or just no, save me a trip to, that, that to the saving, store. Yeah, saving you a trip to the store because you okay. either would have returned it or you could pass on the love. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you re-gifted though? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter and share your stories and we will air those later on the show. If you have a picture of the item, by all means, share that too. All right, bacon, caramel, blackberries, cucumbers, pineapple, all sorts of goodies around here. Joining us today is Nick Spink from Artisan on Alamo Distillery to show us how to infuse cocktails like the pros, right? It's real easy. Yeah. It's the easiest thing to do. Okay. I, okay, fruit, yes, but bacon and caramel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the best stuff. You <laughs> love caramel, don't you? I love, yeah, I do. I've been eating them all. <laughs> well, you've been there is up, enough so. left to infuse. So actually infusing is really the easiest thing you can do. It's flavoring the alcohol, keeping it stored, and just having fun with it. You can infuse almost anything, any flavor that you want. You can just experiment and try it. Oh, yeah. Because why not? So okay. almost, okay, other than, you know, something like that's bread, uh, what wouldn't you want to infuse in your pantry? Can you think of anything? I mean, no. Okay. Probably not potatoes. Okay, good, good idea. Beans? <laughs> Could you do beans? Really? If, if well, you want bean-flavored vodka. Wow. Although, I mean, you wouldn't really, you know, lime with bean I, vodka. I, I that would just, not go over very you well. You said so. anything in the pantry. I was, just, uh, I was going for the gold. Maybe, maybe, not, maybe not kale or something like right, that. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> but fruits and, and all other things yes. are fantastic for it, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, how do we start? Ooh, what what I have candy. here, uh, what I've been, uh, in, done some infusions for you. Okay. Is we're going to... Do some caramel. So why don't you grab all those caramels and put them in the jar? All of them I, in here. All of them. Go ahead and put them in the jar. Any sort uh, of ratio as far as infusing? It depends how strong you like it. I know you like sweets, so I okay. put about 25 of those in there. Okay. All infusions take about five to seven days. And what you just throw it on up. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, some great Texas Pride vodka there. And just keep it room temperature. You can put it in your refrigerator, but shake it up every day. And it takes about five or so days to do. So when you shake it up, you don't have to shake it up for an extended period of time. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, just 15, to stir it up. 25 seconds, just yeah. shake it up, yep. so get it moving. After five days, this will look like then yep. that yeah. as the caramel dissolves. Do you want to try, you try it? And some people so. put a little salt with it, but oh. um, go ahead and try that. Salted Ooh, try caramel, that one. So, so, so they'll eventually just dissolve. It'll, it'll eventually dissolve. So what do you think? Wow. And then the sweeten of the caramel, and then, but yep. it's got a still a kick to it. Yeah, it's still straight 40%. So, that vodka also there, did so. some blackberry there. And what's nice about the blackberries, 
I know you'll really enjoy this. Is what? Try the fruit. Just the fruit by Just itself. Just the fruit by itself. Okay. Because that fruit has been sitting in vodka for yep. how long? Put, put that on. Put that That's on toast. Spiked fruit. Just the spiked fruit. So, hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we also have uh, some spicy okay. um, pineapple. So let's go ahead and make that. So take okay. a fill, go ahead and fill the jar up fill with, the jar pineapple. with pineapple. Fill the jar with pineapple. Okay. Yep. Oh, and, oh, I'm sorry. And you said to keep it only for five days because because I would think the longer the better, like when you're letting something age, but you got to get it out of there after you, a while. You right? got to get it out of there. Sometimes it molds and stuff like that, but go ahead and uh, fill it up with, yeah, go ahead and do a pinch or so this of the so pan of spicy. And then later on, when thing? we do like jalapeno or uh, habanero, the longer you last, the hotter it gets. So okay. some people go ahead and fill it with the spiked vodka. Okay. All the way to the top. Because yeah. if I normally only do what I do with the peppers, I only do about four days. And then get the peppers off and um, strain those off. Okay. And all you do is just strain it off, just use a little strainer. And then obviously, since it is alcohol, uh, you wouldn't have to keep it in the fridge once it no. is infused and you've taken the, the fruit yep. out of there. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I also did some mandarin oranges. This is a can of just mandarin oranges and stuff like that. But you can use fresh oranges. Okay. Um, so you could use grapefruit. You this could is use the pineapple because this is That's the, the finished product. Anything right like here, that. Right? And we're going to sample those in a minute. The one okay. Okay. I'll do this one since you did the first. Yes. Yes. And then Mike, why don't you come over here and do the, do the um, bacon? Let me switch space. Okay. okay. So the yeah, this is the one that, that really kind of oh, gets me. Oh, I love that. Yeah. And, and do about uh, eight of those little strips. Okay. And make sure they're crispy and stuff like that. If they're soft, there's a little bit too much fat. You want to render all the fat off. Okay. So and then put that in there. And then we've got that whole pepper. That whole pepper. Seeds and everything. Seeds and everything. And then go ahead and fill it with the moonshine. So we're starting what? to produce a moonshine. It's chupacaba Woo! juice. Woo! Um, I'm thinking Beverly Hillbillies for some reason here. So It's a corn-based moonshine. We're just releasing that. Actually, a week from now, we're releasing it. What's the uh, potency of yeah, the moonshine? Say, it is also 40% also. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> like, oh, okay. so we can not, make it stronger, but right. you, there's it, no reason to. It's not like we're approaching Everclear or anything right. like that here. No, so. no, 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 no. I was going to say, going to taste that. But this one you do because of the fat you do want to keep in your refrigerator. Okay. Okay. So, okay, and then that so will turn into product. this. And then we have a cucumber basil, and all you do is mix those together again. Keep that five to seven days. So let's let's try some of these things. Mike, can you grab me the caramel? Okay. Over there. Okay. And this is a great way to serve the caramel. Over. Go ahead and pour it on top. Oh Ice my cream. gosh! So you can take the infused vodka and put. It oh yeah, that's a great dessert. And it's great over uh, chocolate brownies. So. And and you said that uh, the bacon would be good for Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, so. yeah. Okay. So on that, just throw that all in there. Oh my gosh, oh. you can take your infused Ooh. vodka, stir it up, and put that in there. All right. Boy, that's a Sunday and a half. That's a all Sunday right. and a Saturday, I'll tell you that. So, All right. If you would like more information about Artisan on Alamo Distillery, visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, from cardboard to plastic, recycling can get pretty messy when you're trying to go green. And you recently learned how to make it easier for the whole family. You know, if it's convenient and you can just kind of get into a routine with it and everything's in a good place, and who better to show you that than the container store? And they had some great ideas. Take a look. Well, of course, that's a very familiar symbol, the recycling symbol, and we'd all like to do that more, but it can be honestly kind of a pain sometimes to do it and becca siegenthaler is here from the container store and that's the whole trick i mean if it's convenient we'll do it you're right about that yeah. so at the container store we've been helping people organize for over 38 years and we've always had eco-friendly solutions earth day was last month we all care about doing a little bit extra for the earth why not set up a recycling right. center at home so that's what we're going to discuss today how you can make it simple and easy for your family okay and containers you know and having the places to do it because you know it's like okay where do i put this and i don't have room underneath the sink yeah. to do it and so that's yeah. right and the easy convenient container. The first thing you need to decide is where you're going to set up your recycling center. We suggest the kitchen because that's where the most waste is generated, but the corner of a laundry room works, the hallway between the kitchen and the garage, or even the garage itself can be can be useful. Okay. Okay, and then you decide what container you're going to use. Right, because yeah. you can have something very utilitarian, you can have something a little bit nicer looking. That's like right. That. Yeah, do you want to have to sort, sort at home, or is it just going to go all in one container? You can decide that. Mm -hmm. This is a great bin for if you want to keep it in the kitchen, super easy. You put your trash on one side, your recycling on the other. It makes it very easy for the family to participate. You can put a little sticker on the inside that says what can go in the blue side. Drop your papers or whatever in okay. there. Super easy. Step on trash can in the kitchen. That's a great solution. And this would be for regular trash, garbage, yeah. garbage? That's right. And yeah. you could stick a, a trash bag in there. And you it would can fit stick a trash bag in there and empty that or empty the okay. recycling. And Super with everything easy. being kind of stainless steel nowadays, that it, 
matches perfectly. Looks beautiful in the kitchen. So in the more utilitarian side, yeah. if you do, especially in some locations, some locales where you don't have to separate it out, but if you do have to separate the cardboard and the plastic and everything. Yeah, or if you just have a smaller space, one of these is great. You can stack them to okay. take advantage of the vertical space instead of valuable floor space. But the great thing about something like this is the handle, because you can take it with you. If this is in your kitchen or your laundry room, you can take it with you to empty into your larger recep receptacle in the garage. Okay, and to stack them back up, I mean, that's there's no clips, you know, pins, anything like that. My six-year-old can do it. Yeah, yeah you just kind of line them up like that, and it's perfect for easy. it. Okay. And then different variations on that theme. Yeah, so maybe if you have bulkier items that you know you're going to sort, or if you have larger space that you can use, you, mm -hmm. you know, your containers might be dictated by the amount of available space. So something that can stack, that can house uh, larger items. And something you never really think about, because you always think about a good, rigid-type garbage can, but this... Yeah. This is perfect. If you're short on space, maybe it has to go under the sink or in a lower uh -huh. cabinet. You can use a structured bag. So it folds down flat when you're not using it, taking up almost no space. And then when you need it, it can pop right up, fill it with your recyclables, and it has handles, again, to make it easy for and you. And this has a plastic coating in there, so that's yeah, it's pretty laminated. much waterproof. That's, so well, so you can wipe it out if you need to. A damp cloth will clean it right up. If stuff does get in there, you that's can flip right. it inside out and it, wash it out. Yeah, give it okay, a little rinse. And then what's the calendar for? So you want to get the whole family involved, right? You want every everybody to make this as part of their habits. And so to do that, you need to discuss with your family what, what the plan is, what your recycle plan is, have a family meeting, discuss it, put it on the calendar. You can even um, have something on there so you dictate who takes out the recycling each week, something like that. Okay, and like with anything else, you get into that routine, it's nice and simple, it right. just becomes second nature. That's right, and my last tip is you wanna keep pests and odors away. So the way you do that is by rinsing your food and beverage containers, and then either have it picked up or take your recycling out at least every two weeks. Okay. Um, that'll keep the pests and odors out. And a good thing to do is mush these so you make yeah. more room. Take and even then less space. Up That's right. That's okay. right. And even if you think you're not making a big difference, every little bit helps. All right. Yeah. Becca, thank you very much. And for more information on all of these wonderful products at the Container Store, you can visit SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Those were some great ideas. I loved them. And again, it's nice and convenient. All right, coming up, from baked goods to sweet gifts that will last forever, we're showing you two simple gift ideas Dad is going to love this Father's Day. And it's the ultimate Texas taco. Rosita's Mexican restaurant is here to give you a taste. Stay with us. It's time. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Ooh, what else would dad want but a nice, tall, foamy glass of beer? And how about a burger and fries? But they're not what you think they are. Her Savannah Ashley, owner of Summer Sweet Treats, is here. And these yes. are just some great ideas. And it'd be Amazing. a perfect little thing, you know, especially with little kids. Because Oh, it, yeah, they're going to absolutely love them. Handmade dad's going to love them. So. Absolutely, absolutely. They're going to love them. So we're going to start off with our burger. Okay. We're going to cut our cupcake All right. in half. And you can cut now, them both. You're just right down the middle? Uh-huh. Or you want to keep it, like, okay, right there? Yeah, that's good. All that's right. perfect. And you're just using regular cake mixes, right? Right. You can use your favorite homemade cake mix. You okay. can use any cake mix that you like. Anything right. that's easy for you. So that's the top and the bottom yep, of the... Yep, these are our bottom buns. These are our top buns. All right. This is going to be our meat. So we just... Get your cookie cutter. Pop that down pop in all there. the way down in there. All the way down? Yes. Okay. We're going to pull that there out. There you go. Did you and just come up is, with this idea on your this own? This is a little thick. Um, I actually saw this idea on okay. Pinterest. And my daughter always wants to cook for her grandpa. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't want to let her near the stove. <laughs> so we thought this would be an easier uh, thing. And he loves sweets. Uh -huh. So he was going to love this even more. And, and it's just adorable. Oh, is the best way to absolutely, describe this. Absolutely, absolutely. And you can't help but want to eat on your well, way. Well, of course, you need a cheeseburger. That. So we're going to put our square. Okay, a nice little square. Yeah, some nice lines there. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Oh, you don't have to fill it in. Oh, you don't? No. Okay, no, and this is gonna, just regular icing, just right? Just regular icing, your okay. favorite buttercream um, recipe. A little lettuce and, and tomato? Just, yeah, we'll go ahead and do a circle. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. Yeah. I like this. And the tomato on there. Okay. Yeah. You want to put some tomato on mine? All righty. 
Is this how you like your burger with cheese and tomato? Yes, and and then our lettuce. You're gonna bit. put the lettuce on the top part. Just go a little little squiggles on there. Okay. You want it to look like leafy lettuce. It's just something like that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take that from you. You can go ahead and, and top it off. Now. The fries that go with the burger, too, are also cake. Just so you could use one uh, batch of cake mix to make the cupcakes and then also maybe and an eight inch. A round, small six inch. Or a small perfect, six inch. Yes. Okay, is going to be perfect for that. So All we're right. going to go ahead and put your burger in there. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be your sleeve. We went ahead and just made that out of parchment paper and tape for your fries. Oh, what a great idea. Yeah, so here's our six inch. Mm -hmm. And you can just cut strips like if you're cutting fries. All right, so just like this, right? As thick or as thin as you need them, yeah. Okay. And you also do some uh, catering, right? I do. I do wedding cakes. I do birthday parties, any kind of celebration. Um, I do cakes, cupcakes, all kinds of different kinds of treats for that you know, as well. And, and speaking of birthday parties, this would be a great idea for a kid's birthday party, too. Oh, absolutely. Any, even like for this. the summer, you got a summer barbecue going on. What other kind of uh, little gizmo type ideas do you have uh, like this? Uh, but we do uh, cake pops. Chocolate-covered pretzels, chocolate-covered strawberries, mm -hmm. uh, any cake for any occasion, and cupcakes. Oops, my bag's Got that. There. Okay. there we go. And Perfect then this is the fun part because you can't have fries without ketchup. your ketchup. And what is the ketchup? And that is going to be a strawberry filling. Okay. And now we've got a great little keepsake idea over... Well... There's ketchup in here, and it's in that little thing. <laughs> it, was a, it was a slippery bottle. All right. We've got a great little keepsake idea here. This keychain, and your daughter, Taya, is going to be here. And what we're going to be doing is doing, this is called um, this is Slinky our, Dinky? Yes, this is our Father's Day keychain. Perfect gift. What you're going to do is you're going to buy some Shrinky Dink wrap. You can get this at any craft store. Okay. And some acrylic paint. And it's got to be acrylic paint, It right? has to be acrylic. You can even do a gloss top okay. uh, just to get a little prettier. We're going to go ahead and just uh, put paint all over her hand, and she's going to do a nice handprint okay. on our foggy side. On the foggy yeah, side. Yeah, on the and, frosted side. And I where do you find that? And this is you can find it at any craft store, uh, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Joann's. You can actually find both. Okay. And they also you can also find your keychain rings. Okay. Now so then you... you're going to turn hand over, and you're going to place it on there. Get all those nice cutters in there. And then lift your hand up. There you go. You and got about a how nice, long will that take to dry? About two minutes. Oh, okay. Two minutes to dry doesn't take long at all. Once you're done, you can write any kind of message you'd like on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You cut it out. And then you heat it up. Put in it the in the oven. oven. On a piece two of foil, something like that. Yeah, two to three minutes in the oven. It's going to shrink and six times its size and get nine times hard. That is the And most then you just go ahead and you add your keychain. Perfect as well for as dad. The burger. And look at no ketchup got on the uh, table yeah. or mustard. When he, I, hopefully he won't lose his keys because yes. he's got that keepsake like on I there. Like I the burger. So. <laughs> <laughs> Savannah, thank you much. And Taya, thank you all very much. And if you'd like more information about summer sweet treats, go to uh, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Coming up. You're going to wash your hands or just kind of mess around with that? So go shake somebody's hand with that. Coming up, prizes, prizes, prizes. And get this, everyone is a winner. Details next. And no sweating at the wedding with these summer makeup tips. And don't worry, there's products for all budgets. Stay with us. Are you ready to win free stuff? Yes. Stuff? Yes. Now's your chance. We are teaming up with Corner Store and the San Antonio Football Commission, and you can tell you about a great event happening today. Head out to the Corner Store at 8839 Southwest Loop 410 between 2 and 4 o'clock and get a scratch-off card and win free stuff. And get this, everyone is a winner. Plus, there will be players from the San Antonio Football Commission there for you to meet and take a picture with. It's going to be a lot of fun. David Elder has more on this. It's David Elder with SA Live. We're out here at the San Antonio FC practice field. And with me is Jadira Ruiz of the Corner Store. And we're talking about some cool scratch-off prizes, right? Yes, we're giving away scratch-off cards at several of our stores. Big night at San Antonio FC. First 5,000 people get scratch-off cards. First 5,000, and you know, maybe a few of them win, right? Well, David, we like to give back to the community. Yeah. So everyone's a winner. Everyone's a winner. So when you come out, you can go to the stores, you can come out to the game, and you can become a winner too. What do they win? Like drinks or what are they winning? Drinks, of course, are drinks, snacks, 
Candy and San Antonio Swag. Swag. We're going to be doing some challenges with two of the players from the team right now. Yes. So what we're doing is the crossbar challenge. we got Chris and Ben over here, and we're going to be doing the crossbar challenge. So once again, if you don't know what the crossbar challenge is, we're going to explain to you real quick. See that bar at the top of the, the goal over there? you got to kick that. That's the crossbar challenge. So here we go, guys. We're going to set it up. Crossbar challenge. <laughs> oh, I didn't even make it! Ah! All right, so Jadir and I are going to go first. This is the crossbar challenge. We're not going for the crossbar, though. We're going for the drinks on the ground because it's in the corner. It's a corner store. That's right. A genius must have thought of that one. Here we go. We're going to kick it in here. The count of three, all right? You're going to go for the right. I'm going to go for okay. the left here. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, I thought I was going for the crossbar. We're not going for the crossbar, Jadir. We tried to hit the drinks. Oh, that was pretty close. Go, Ben! Yeah! You guys did great! Jadira, let's never play soccer again. <laughs> I mean, I was I was pretty close. I kind of, I beat this guy here. Okay! Oh. You know what's good, though? Is that everybody's a winner with the, with the scratch-offs, right? Yes, that's true. Come get your scratch-off. Yeah. And everyone's a winner. San Antonio Sea Swag, Corner Store Products, all sorts of goodies. And you don't have to kick a crossbar shot in order to get any of it. Be a winner just like they are. And just like Ben, because Ben scored it, but he got the crossbar. He did a great job. Well, we're going to try it again, but you guys, don't forget, corner store, scratch-off tickets, partnering with the San Antonio FC. And, you know, let's, let's do it. Let's, kick it. let's try to go for one time. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, Ted, this one's for you, buddy. Ted! Again, today's meet and greet is at the corner store at 8839 Southwest Loop 410 from 2 to 4 o'clock. That's coming up in just a little bit. For more information, head to cornerstore.com. Now, if you can't make it today, there will be a few more chances to meet the players and win free scratch-off goodies next week. The days and times and locations are listed on your screen. We will remind you each day, so make sure you stay tuned. All right, coming up, keep your fur babies happy and healthy. Texas Veterinary Hospital is here with the tips on why it is so important to get vaccinations. That's next. And earlier, we asked you, what have you regifted or stored somewhere? Julie says, it's generally called a whatchamacallit. Can I pause it? Because I can never remember. That's that's That was yesterday. I, was like, I remember all the that. The gizmos yes, and gadgets. The gizmos and gadgets. But I guess you could regift a doohickey. And a whatchamacallit. Yes. And a thumbnail jiggy. Right. <laughs> After. Oh. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, keeping your fur baby happy and healthy is always a top priority, especially when flea and tick season is here. And joining me today is Dr. Mike Mixon to yes. tell you more about heartworm and flea prevention. Welcome. Yes. Thanks so much yes. for being Thank here. You. Yes. Okay, so who do we have here today? Because first of all, he's looking for a good home. Yes, this is Keith. He's a two-year-old Australian cattle dog. And he's very spirited, yes, he's very so happy, he's so he happy loves to be life, here. Yes. Um, very friendly with people, dogs. He's interested in cats. We interested. don't know good or bad, but uh, <laughs> he definitely takes an interest in them anyway. So, but he he is for adoption and uh, over at the Animal Defense League. But he's he's a good looking boy. He's friendly with the kids and. Um, oh, he knows he's on camera now. Yes. Yeah, he's posing. He's quite the showman. He's posing. Okay, let's talk about heartworm and flea prevention. Yes. Why do pets need heartworm and flea prevention? Well, first of all, they spread disease. And actually, heartworms is a disease. They're basically, literally, the mosquitoes spread this little worm, and the worm grows into about five or six inches long, and it lives in the chambers of the heart, as well as like the, on the, the, the low pressure side, like in the lungs and in that area. So, and as you can see, these worms literally live inside the vessels and in the chambers of the heart, and, and they're spread by mosquitoes. And we have mosquitoes year-round. Right. It doesn't get cold enough to get rid of them, and so, very, very important uh, to take care of that. And prevention is super easy and relatively inexpensive. And you can, you can, you can give it in a pill form, right, every you can, month, you can right? Get a pill form. Or there's the thing that you kind of put in the back of the neck. Yeah, there's what an injection. Uh huh. And the injection works for six months. It's fantastic for the heartworms. And then what's the one where it's like a droplet? Yeah, there are some drops that go on there. The one, there's one that does a little bit of everything. Right. And actually, there's two that do uh, everything fleas, heartworms, and ticks. So. Yes, yes, that's the one I have for yeah. my dog because trying to give her a pill, even disguised in anything, she's right. onto it. She will take the peanut butter off it and spit it out. And, yes, you know. she likes so, the peanut butter. If you have your, if you have a pet and you've been doing, you know, the monthly pills or you know the 
liquid or whatnot. Right. If you miss a couple of months, say you miss two or three months, right. what, what do you do at that point? Well, one, call the veterinarian, mm -hmm. uh, but two, more than likely, they're going to have you just continue on the prevention, and then we'll do a follow-up test. Okay. Um, just do the nature of the life cycle of the worm. Doing a test immediately probably is not going to get you the results that you're looking for, but six months later, if you do a test, then you'll know if you're clear or not at that point. Now, what happens if it's positive? Then we have a whole different talk, um, but we do, there are some treatments, there's some, uh, depending on the severity of the disease, we can do some basic slow kill messes, and if it's more severe, we do more of a rapid kill, and maybe have to do some supportive care with the heart and antibiotics and things like that, so. Um, but yeah, there's a lot we can do to help, but the easiest thing is prevention, because it's super easy. Does my indoor pet need heartworm and sleep yes, prevention? Yes, yes, because especially in the summertime, you open the door, those mosquitoes come in, and they can get them too. So, All right. Yeah. Okay. Once again, Keith here, two-year-old, what mix? Australian cattle dog. Australian cattle dog mix, handsome boy, looking for a good home. They're at Animal Defense League. And for more information on Texas Veterinary Hospitals, you can call 349-2121. That's 349-2121. Or visit TexasVeterinaryHospitals.com. All right, wedding makeup can turn into a hot and sweaty mess in this Texas summer heat. We've got you covered with makeup tips from the pros for all budgets. Stay with us. can be especially tricky. Not only is it because, you know, you might be nervous or bawling caught up in the moment, but we have this really hot thing called a Texas summer, and it's <laughs> unlike any other. And Amanda Cardenas joins us, Hi. and you are a local makeup artist, and you're sharing tips and tricks on how to do that kind of perfect wedding makeup. Yes, because we don't want your makeup to be slipping and sliding. Nope. No, we and do. And you want it to now. withstand yes, everything, the we heat, do. the sweat, the nerves, the tears, all of it. Oh, yes, we want everything to stay in place. So you always want to prime your skin. Right here, the Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer to make everything go all nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. And the tip with your foundation is picking, pick little to no SPF because that's going to prevent flashback. Anything with SPF will cause flashback. As the Laura Mercier settings, um, setting powder looks really nice and again does not cause flashback, so it's going to come out beautifully in photos. Now your setting, uh, setting powder um, finishing spray is our rose water, which is really good for your skin. You can put it on before and after and throughout the day to give you a good fresh up. Now the foundation I have on her is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you can see how natural her skin looks and doesn't look like foundation on her. And then you just want to spray, put your head back a little bit. You just want a light mist of that. Light oh, mist like and it roses. smells so good and it's very refreshing. So it gives her a nice, natural luminous summer glow glow all yes. right okay all right. so next we have you we know have you want your lips to look here kissable right for that <laughs> first kiss <laughs> yes. But you don't so, want gloss on it for that first kiss. And you want them super soft <laughs> for that one kiss, okay? So you always want to exfoliate your lips. Right here we have the e.l.f. lip exfoliator. All you do is rub it onto your lips and it takes off the dead skin and also plumps them up as well. Right here we have your new lip option, which is very affordable as well. Right here from here, it's under $5. Um, what you want to do is get a nice lip line, just very little, not too much. And just to give it a kinda, nice... And that liner, does it keep your lipstick? Yes, and what I like contained? to do sometimes is put the lip liner all over the lips because it likes to, it is kind of like a, a prime for the lipstick. And you just add a little bit. So for your wedding day, would you recommend, you know, those who love lip gloss to put lip gloss on before they go down the aisle? I would aisle? say you can wear lip gloss. I, what I like to do is dab it. Yeah. I don't like to go on with like a full-blown, like glossy lip. Sometimes it can be nice, especially if you're having an outside wedding, you want to avoid that. Well, with I would the think wind. that for the first kiss, you might want to skip yeah, that. Yeah, you might want to skip it. Um, so <laughs> I like to dab a little bit of the gloss just to kind of give it a nice little sheen. But since her lip is completely matte, it'll prevent that as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Now the eyes are the windows to the, the soul. The eyes right here. We have Lauren. Uh, what I did on her is a super, super light look on her eyes. Her Skin is really dewy, which is in, especially for the summer, you want to look nice and refreshed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of color on the outer corners, um, just to add a little more depth, because 
some of my clients want something with a little more depth rather than um, just, you know, something really soft, even though that's really popular right now. And then you can add a little bit on the lower lash line to add a little more depth too. Open your eyes and look up for me. So that's the trick. Yeah, and just keep it right on the outer corners. Not too much, just a little bit just to blow it out. Look down for me again. And then also, I like to avoid using brown or black eyeliner. I love to use nude eyeliner on the waterline. It helps brighten up the eyes and gives it a more natural, soft so look. Nude liner. Nude I never liner. Of that. Is, that's the only thing I use on my brides unless requested otherwise. But yeah. Nice All right. and a little bit of dimension and just nice and, and yeah, soft on the, the other. Difference. I love it. And I love the nude lip, too. When you go, oh, yes. Even if you go a little more dramatic with the eye, yes. the nude lip is always the way to you go. You can always change the lip to whichever you want. Now, viewers can uh, who don't want to do their own makeup, you can go to them, right? Yes. You can go ahead and um, text, message me anywhere, Instagram, Facebook, Amanda Cadernas, MUA. All right, for more information on local makeup artists, Amanda Cardenas, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, it's the ultimate Texas taco, perfect for those summer nights. Rosita's Mexican restaurant is here to give you a taste. And tomorrow on SA Live, they can pull, car lift, and tire toss. That's right, we have 11 of the strongest men in the world on the show and we're not holding back make sure to watch all the action tomorrow at one when we pit mike osterhage against the 11 strong i'm just kidding oh. <laughs> 12 including you yes bring it <laughs> <laughs>